Adrian again. Um, as I promised when I laid the underflow heating mat, um, I will make another video to show you how I connect the thermostat and the RCD. So this is the video I'm going to show you how I do it. So the thermostat. the RCD. RCD will come here. Thermostat will be here. Now I need to explain now how I do it. So why are so many wires going to RCD? Because the same procedure as you go for a socket is going on ring circuit. Don't worry, uh, I should test it before just to show you on the video. But I test it before I start to filming, I switched off the power, so... Anyway, um, what I'm trying to say... <clears throat> pretend that this is a socket, you will have only these four wires. Because this is in a ring circuit with other sockets. But, okay, those two are going together, those two are going together to form the ring circuit. And these are going out from RCD into the thermostat in here. So um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try to hold the camera somehow to see what I'm doing behind all this. So first thing we want to do, because we have so many cables in here, I'm gonna put the earth into the boxing. Something I need to show you. You see here it says L feed and feed L and N load. Right, feed means wire coming from the fuse box. Load means wires going from here to the thermostat. So all these four which are the ring circuit are going onto the feed. Brown ones will go into the L feed. And because uh, I'm trying to make it somehow clear to see what is right in here. And the blue one is coming here on neutral and feed. Okay, same. The other two ones which are going to the fuse to the sorry to the thermostat. Brown will go here. L load blue will go here to end load i explain this now because once i turn this like this you can't see what i'm doing so yeah let's connect it
So now connecting the thermostat. Again, I'm gonna show you here what I'm gonna do because once I turn this like this, you can't see what I'm doing behind. So I'm trying to be as accurate as possible as to explain the best way I can. So here it doesn't say feeding on this, but it's obviously once it says this 230 watts volts, it's obviously that is gonna be connected here and load. We already know what load means. Number one is nothing to connect for in this country. So our feeding on this case are these wires which are coming from the RCD. So again brown is life which will be a number two blue neutral which will be a number three load okay load brown will be life which will connect a number five blue will be neutral which will connect a number four sensors yeah these wires is from the sensor we'll connect in here seven and eight color doesn't matter so it says no polarity doesn't matter which blue and brown where it is okay so let's connect it switch off the underflow heating. In the winter set the temperature you want and leave it on all the time unless you go on holiday. But when you go to work do not switch it off. Some people do that when they come home switch it on in the morning they switch it off. It will consume much more energy that way if you switch it off because the floor gonna get cold and when you start it on you will work hard to heat it back. If you leave it on all the time, when it's getting cold, it works 2 minutes, 3 minutes maximum, maybe not even that, just to heat it back, it will stop. It's consuming less energy to maintaining and that heating than to 
hit it from being cold. So what I suggest is do not switch off in the winter when you go to work. Leave it on all the time. Leave it on 20 degree, 19, 20, 21, depends how hot you want the floor to be. So yeah, this is what I suggest to you.